welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Howdy! I'd like for y'all to say hi to my friend Dale Zorn. He is a member of the state of Michigan's legislature. He's been in Michigan for 20 years. Something happened the other day. Old Dale showed his true colors. He's been working up north with us Yankees for over 20 years. But he's really a Confederate spy. That's right. He's a Confederate spy. The truth all came out the other day. Old Dale was rushing to work, and instead of bringing the American flag, he brought the flag of the Confederate Army. You dirty spy. You know, up north, us Yankees in the Union don't take kindly to no Confederate spies. You know what we do to Confederate spies, don't you, Dale? We hang them. Dale, like a lot of other angry white males, didn't get the memo that the war was over because General Lee surrendered. The war is over. You lose. Like a real yellow belly Confederate spy. The first thing Dale said was his wife gave the flag to him. Oh, they got they got that many flags sitting around their house that she can get napkins and make stuff out of them and table mats, placemats, got them all over the house, bath tiles. Oh, I'll just take this one. And make a mask for you because we got a bunch of them. Somebody remind Dale one more time that the slaves are gone. If he need a slave, he better go get a white girl. I need somebody to comment and tell me why a Yankee always want to be wearing a Confederate Army uniform and flying a flag and they lost the damn war. Does that mean you just a bunch of losers? Born in the North, working in the North, living in the North, keep on flying the flag of a Southern army that lost the war. That's that's a real sick, twisted place, Dale. So now we know every choice, every vote, every decision he'd been making for the past 20 years was some kind of racist, biased choice. And all while he was singing, I I miss my home in Dixie. Oh yeah, I can't wait till I retire so I can go home to Dixieland, to Candyland. Well, Dale, you done sucked 20 plus years out of the Michigan legislators. I know you got a hell of a pension. You need to go on, get out of here, go on down south, to Dixieland, Candyland, buy you some slaves and retire and have a good ass time. I want that stinking Senator Dale to go home and watch NASCAR so he can watch his hero, Kyle Larson. There he is right there. Kyle Larson. Kyle, Carl, Kurt, whatever his name is. Kyle, he's a good old boy. He loves the South, the Confederacy. Oh, Kyle, he's such a good old boy. His ass got fired. Y'all love that NASCAR, don't you? You be like Kyle. Kyle, make, he was making good money. They, they not racing the cars, so they told him, just get this uh, video game. And sit at home with a and with a pop and just pretend and and just race on, on the video game. You don't even have to get in a real car. 
and just have fun and relax. But Kyle couldn't handle it because he's an angry white man. Angry. So he was so mad that he was losing on the video game. He started cussing people out, calling them out of their name. Nah, Kyle forgot that he, he wear this jacket with all these sponsors on there. And he called on everybody out their name. All his sponsors dropped him. NASCAR dropped him. So, like, the only thing he can do now is pick up bottles and wait on a stimulus check to come. A Captain Kyle, leader of the Confederate Army. Is there anything you'd like to say to all your fans out there? What? You can't hear me? Hey, nigger. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Kyle, you're talking to everyone, but. Yeah, we heard that. Oh, damn. You did not just that. Nah, I read, I heard this whole article, and I checked it out. Kyle, this month, he's sick as hell. He's sick as hell. He calling people niggas. And he think he captain, the captain of the Confederate Army, and his damn mama is Japanese. Bitch, go get me some shrimp fried rice, bitch. He can't even go to hang out with the good old boys. Because if they find out his mom is Japanese, they'll beat his ass. They'll say, get your ass up out of here. You ain't one of us. You ain't a good old boy. He living in a fantasy world, trying to get in where he can fit in. And Kyle don't want to tell nobody he his mama Japanese and his middle name Mr. Miyagi. Wash on, wash off. Right. You can't hear me? Hey nigger. Wow, hey. <laughs> Kyle, you're talking to everyone, but Yep, we heard that. Oh damn, you should not do that. The Senator and the Nash car driver. Two dummies. Riding around, calling people out their name, flying Confederate battle flags from 1870. Oh, what the hell I'm do with these fools? Both of them got their jobs in trouble. Everybody's sick of their ass. Kyle keep refusing to tell me his mama recipe for sweet and sour shrimp. Both of them, they not even for real. They off a TV show. I, I know what TV show they off of. Here it go. The Dukes of Hazard.